Hello, hello, hello. It looks like we are live and in living color. Uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Alston Godbolt. And today I want to spend a few minutes giving you a list of the 10 different ways that you can make money today, this week, today's Tuesday, that you can make money today, even by the end of the week, with uh, different different uh, online jobs. So you could do this. You don't have to leave home. Uh, you can do this 100% remotely. You could do this from... You, you can do this from a friend's house. You can do this with family in your house. There's just a number of different opportunities out there for you, and I want to go, go ahead and list them. Uh, before we get started, I just want to introduce myself real quick. My name is Alston Godbolt, and as you can see on the screen here, I create content to help you start generating passive income with affiliate marketing. I upload videos Monday through Friday, and I, I, my goal for this channel is to really to help you start making money so that you can start living a life that you wanna live. Sometimes we run into the frustration where we're stuck at a job that we don't like, we're frustrated, where we feel like we're limited by our job and our current options, and I, I basically just create content to help you and let you know that there are other options. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And again, this is going to be 10 ways to make money today in lockdown. So everyone's, most people are in some sort of lockdown, uh, depending on where you live, there's levels obviously, but let's go ahead and get right into it. And if you have questions throughout the duration of this video, go ahead and throw them out there. This is a live stream. So if you have questions in the chat, throw them out. If you're watching the replay, this all of my videos are always replayed. If you have questions in the replay, throw them out there as well. I always go back and I try and answer them in the comment section as soon as I see them. All right. So the great thing about everything that I'm going to tell you are, are proven. These are all different ways. These are surefire. I'm not going to blow smoke. I'm not going to give you any pie in the sky, any dream information. These are all proven ways that you can make money online from home remotely without you know having to change out of your pajamas so number 10 is freelance writing now the great thing with freelance writing is there's just a number of different websites that you can go to to start making money with freelance writing and finding freelance writing gigs one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to freelance writing and freelance writing gigs is people think Oh, well, Fiverr is super saturated and it's really cheap. There are, there's Fiverr, there's Upwork, there's Freelancer, there's Elance. There's one thing that you could do too, is you can actually go to a website that you're interested in. For example, I have a number of blogs and people email me every day asking, hey, do you, do you need a writer? Do you want a writer? You can actually re reach out to a blog or a website that you're interested in and just write. You can work with them directly. And the best part is if you do it this way, you don't have to pay those other places like um, like Fiverr. You don't have to pay them a finder's fee, a finder's fee, essentially. So what I recommend is if there's a blog that you like, if there's a, a website that you frequent often, reach out to their contact us page and just see if if they're interested in writing but this can be a good opportunity and you can get paid by word you can get paid by you know by article you can actually get paid by quality if you want to do it more of a formula if you want to do it more of a formal way you can use a website like iWriter i have purchased written articles from iWriter that's another opportunity as well. The great thing with iWriter is there's always people that are looking for different work and there are different niches that you can get into. Other than make money online, people are looking for more technical. If you have a background in let's say programming, people are looking for content for program programming and freelance writing is an incredible opportunity because what I will be looking for, and I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, in the next few months here, I'm gonna look for writers to ramp up for my blog. I want to grow my blog, my different blogs that I have, and so I don't really have the time, energy, or even really the want to, to go through and write a $2,500 post. Now, you could make a $2,500 post, you could make $50, $60, $75, depending on the, the topic that you're writing on and the quality. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up iWriter real quick just to kind of show you about what you could expect. Now, iWriter is a little bit on the, I believe it's on the cheaper side, and iWriter has a rating st system, a star rating system that you have to go by. So uh, because, let's see, let's go over to... Uh, let's go, you scroll, oh, you scroll all the way back up here. We're going to go to write content and you basically just enter in your information. You can upload a writing sample, but if you go back to iWriter, if you scroll all the way down, it tells you about how to become a writer. It tells you about the amount of money that you can make and the, the tiered system 
that you could potentially make more or less money. Now, there's a number of places out there like iWriter. And so don't feel like you're just relegated. And in fact, you can sign up to like four of these places at one time. And as you get more content or as you get more experience, you'll write faster. You'll become a better writer. And the beautiful thing too, one trick that most people won't tell you is I'll actually lay out exactly how you can write on a topic that you know nothing about. Let's say someone wants you to write on the newest Sharpie pen, right? You know nothing about Sharpie pens. You don't know, you know nothing on how they work. Go read two or three article blog posts on the Sharpie pen. Go watch a YouTube video and then rewrite it. Synthesize, summarize, and rewrite it. And to write even faster, use Google Docs because Google Docs has a voice tool where it's a speech to text. Basically, you'll just talk into the microphone and Google Docs will write everything down for you. You'll just go through, you'll edit it, make sure it looks and sounds good, and then you send it back. You could start making $100 per day by uploading three, four, or even five articles. And again, if you do the speech to text, if you watch a YouTube video about the topic, you can start cranking those out pretty easy. So that is one way, and I'm just going to slide this over, is iWriter, or excuse me, freelance writing. The second way, number nine, is actually proofreading. And I did a quick TikTok video on this as well. There's a number of sites out there that will help you or will, will list proofreading gigs. Now, proofreading can be good. Let's say you're a college student and you want a third party to read over your article or your, your paper, your thesis, whatever you're creating, and they want an extra set of eyes. Maybe, uh, maybe they're writing a book. Maybe there's an author, professional author, they're writing a book, they just got done with a chapter, and they want to make sure that the book, that the, the, the chapter sounds good, make sure it flows nicely. So they're going to list a gig on a website like Up, Upwork, and I'm just going to bring this back over here, and I'm going to type in Upwork, Upwork. So we'll go to Upwork.com, and I'm just going to bring this back, and we're just going to type in, we're going to type in Proofreader, Proofreader. And so you'll be able to find different gigs on, on proofreading. And again, you'll just apply for these jobs. And once you find them, and you can actually mark this to USA only so that these people only want people within the United States. So again, as you can see, you just go through, read it, $51 per hour, $45 per hour, $35 per hour, and you can start making money this way. Proofreading is an incredible opportunity. And just like before, what I would recommend that you do is, let's say you get a job, right? You, someone hires you for a gig at $35 an hour. Copy and paste the text that they give you into a Google Doc and download the plugin called Grammarly. This, let me type in Grammarly. Grammarly is basically Microsoft Word but it's, it's Google's representation. Now there's a free version and then there's a premium version. Now if you're just getting started, use the free version and you'll just paste it into a Google Doc. It'll go through and it'll highlight anything that doesn't sound right. It'll hi highlight the wrong use of there, there, and there. And this is a, again, this is a pretty good way to start making passive income. So what I would do, if I were trying to find a proofreading gig, I'd go to a website like Upwork, create a gig, apply for open gigs, and then once I get hired on, copy and paste the text right into a Google Doc, let that catch all of the low-hanging fruit, do a quick read-through, and then send it back. You can do this multiple times, and again, start making $100 per day or more just with this process. And again, there are four or five or even six different websites where you can do this. And again, you can reach out to websites directly if if you are bold enough, if you're confident enough in your experience, if you have a background in writing, maybe you have an English degree, maybe you're a professor that has been laid off, maybe you're an adjunct instructor that has been laid off or can't find work because classes aren't running, you can start doing something like this. So another option number nine I wrote is actually proofreading. After proofreading, I actually have proofreading twice. Number seven is tutoring. Now tutoring is simply mentoring someone from around the world on the normal courses or, or normal normal education. People like myself, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I still need a way to educate my children. And right now my children are small, they're four and two, and so I don't need that much tutoring. Maybe your child is in high school, maybe they're preparing to go to college and you feel like 
they're lacking. Parents are feeling like they're lacking the, the structure because, you know, the classes are online or maybe they're not understanding trigonometry or calculus or simple stru sentence structure. And so you can go to a website like chegg.com, C-H-E-G-G.com, and you can apply to become a tutor. So if I do that, if I go to chegg.com, let's see, we go to chegg.com, we can go to tutors here at the top left. Once we do that, hopefully this will load relatively quickly. You can click on become a tutor. And if you become a tutor, you can make $1,000 per week. Yep, or excuse me, $1,000 per month, starting at $20 per hour. So you can make $20 or more. Let's say, again, you have a background in education. Maybe you're a high school teacher by trade, and all of this time has freed up because you're doing a Zoom class one hour a day. You're assigning homework. Maybe students aren't turning them in. Maybe they, they are turning them in. You can mentor people from around the world using this chegg.com website. So this is another opportunity for you. And for most, most of these sites, you don't need a formal degree or background. They may have you take a test. They may have you take a quiz. But for some of these sites, you don't need anything but a want to. And this is an incredible opportunity. Again, you don't have to leave your house. You just simply apply. You don't even need to have a great internet connection for some of these. Now, tutoring, if you're going to be a little, if you're going to be doing live tutoring, that may require a little bit stronger internet connection. But for some of these, like freelance writing, um, if you're if you're translating, let's say for example, you could use the internet connection from your phone. You could tether your phone to your computer tether your phone to your laptop, and you could start making money that way. So you may, if, let's say you've cut the internet bill. The internet bill was $100 per month. You can no longer afford it. You can still tether your cell phone to your computer or laptop and get the internet connection. Obviously, you're getting the internet some way. You're listening to me right now. All right, so after tutoring, let's go down to ESL Teacher. This is an underrated, undiscovered niche that you could get into and potentially start making some money. There is a huge demand in other countries, both online and offline, for people to learn English and vice versa. There is a huge demand for people from around the world that want to learn or they, they their, their first language is English and maybe they want to learn a second language like Spanish and vice versa. So they're just like Chegg.com, there's an incredible opportunity for you to teach people English or any other any other language, again, in a tutoring type format. But this is a little bit different than tutoring because you need to understand a second or even third language. And there's just a number of different opportunities that are out there. So again, these are all different ways that you could start making money. These are 10 ways. There's actually going to be more than 10. There's 10 different ways that you can start making money this week, today, without having to leave your home while you're still on lockdown, while you're still quarantined. All right, so after ESL, we have virtual assistant. Now, basically what a virtual assistant does is they do whatever the manager or their their boss recommends that they do. This could be anything from data entry. This could be keyword research. Let's say your, your, um, your manager has a blog or a YouTube channel. They want you to go out and find keywords and put them in an Excel spreadsheet. This could be simply just proofreading something on a website. Maybe I'll email you a, a blog post that I've created and I want you to proofread it to make sure it looks good. You could actually go out and do competitive analysis. So this virtual assistant is pretty broad, but it's a great opportunity if you have a little bit of background within data entry or just regular nine to five office work. Virtual assistant could be sending out emails. Let's say you have an email list of 10,000 subscribers. As a virtual assistant, I could say, hey, can you send out an email that just suggests people come to my YouTube channel to watch the video that's going to be uploaded? As a virtual assistant, you could be responsible for uploading the YouTube video and creating an engaging thumbnail. Virtual assistant is a large umbrella, but there's a lot of things that can fulfill that role. And again, you can find work on Fiverr, Freelancer, Upwork. You can reach out to websites directly. Um, I actually had somebody reach out to me on TikTok and say, hey, do you need a, a VA, a virtual assistant? But virtual assistant can be another good opportunity if you're looking to start making money. All right, so after virtual assistant, we have a transcriptionist. Now, basically, a transcriptionist is going to get some audio or video, and they're going to write it down, type it up, and send it back. 
the great thing with transcriptionist is there's a few ways that you can do this. You can kind of do like a service arbitrage where you get hired on for one price, let's say $50 per hour, and then you could turn around and resell that job, relist that gig for $10 an hour, and then you pocket the difference. Another way that you could do it is if it's an audio that's clear or video that's clear, you could, again, go to a Google Doc and use the voice to text um, plugin, voice to, voice to text feature, and then let the, the basically thing do its work. So the way that it will work is you get hired on from a website like um, uh, transcribeme.com, we'll say. And I believe that's a real tran uh, website. Transcribeme.com will hire you on. You find jobs that you want to work. You apply to work at these jobs. They hire you on. They're going to send you either an audio or a video. You download the audio or video and you press play. And basically what I would do is turn your speaker up and then go to Google Doc and let the voice typing assistant do all the work. Listen to it again. Make sure it didn't miss anything. Make sure it spelled everything correctly. And then send it back. Now, again, this is a pretty easy, low-level way to start making $100 per day. And you're not doing a lot of work. It's just basically listening and interpreting. Now, the faster you can do it with the correct to the correct audio and video, the more money that you can potentially make from this because they need a lot of work done fast. And if you can prove that you've gotten you can get this done, if you can provide high quality work fast, they'll send you more work. So after transcriptionist, there is data entry. Now again, data entry is kind of a broad topic, but it can mean a lot of things. For example, data entry could simply mean I hand you a spreadsheet and I want you to enter in the names and email addresses and regular addresses into my click funnels, into my autoresponder, maybe into my CRM like Salesforce. That's all data entry. You're given a task, it's unstructured, unordered. You just go through, enter it in. Oftentimes you can copy and paste. So really it's just vo very low level, not difficult work, but it's work that needs to be done and work that you can get paid for. While you're sitting at home, you can play Netflix in the background or you can watch the latest show in the background, maybe Disney Plus, and you can start making money with very easy, very low level, very simple tasks. Now, again, you can use a website like Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer, Elance. There's a number of different opportunities that are out there for you to start making money as a data entry person. And you could actually sign up for a bunch of these at one time. So you could be a data entry person for both uh, Elancer and Sorry about that. If you can hear that in the background, it's getting close to bedtime. So the kids are kind of rambunctious. Anyway, you can be you can sign up for like three or four of these different freelancing sites and you can work all of them or none of them at the same time. What I'd recommend is find five or six. You could use people per hour and just apply, apply, apply. The worst case scenario, if you just apply, they say no. You just move on to the next one. Again, this is something that you could reach out to local businesses. Maybe local businesses have a stack of, they have a, a Rolodex that they eventually want to get to on the Salesforce. Reach out to them, say, I'm a data entry specialist and I want to do this for you for $15, $20 per hour. They email you or they mail you the, the Rolodex. You just simply enter them in and maybe you can even get paid per entry. There's just a number of different opportunities. And if you think outside the box just a little bit, you'll fulfill a void that most people didn't realize was there. All right. After data entry, we have building WordPress websites. Now, if I want to make money today, this is what I would do. This is my goal to go to thing build WordPress websites. For me, it's easy. I can make anywhere between $500 and $2,500 in two or three hours just building a WordPress website. And I'll tell you how to do it step by step. What you can do is you can go to you can go to a number of different websites. You can go to a website like Thumbtack. You can go to a website. Uh, there's, a, there's a database called ReferenceUSA.com. You can actually just reach out to local businesses that are around you and see if they need a website. Now, the great thing with WordPress is WordPress is a content management service or a content management software where it takes care of all of the look and feel. You just enter in some of the minor details. For example, 
let me show you a WordPress website and I'm just going to show you my website, allstingodwill.com. This is a WordPress website. All of the look and feel is a template. What you need to do if you're looking to get started with a WordPress website, if you want to build a WordPress website, go to a website like themeforce.com, download a WordPress theme, and then upload it into the back end of your web hosting provider, of a web hosting provider. Now, if none of the, if this isn't making any sense, you do a, a YouTube or a Google search and people will show you step by step how to do this. But this is so powerful because this is all a template. This is all done for you. And the only thing you need to do, if the person doesn't have a website at all, you need to create a homepage, which is, this is the homepage. You need to com complete maybe a products page, an about us page, and a contact page, contact us page. You can charge people for a five page website anywhere between $500 and $2,500. If I wanted to, if I wanted to make money today, what I would do is I'd whip out my list of of local businesses in my area and I'd start making phone calls. I would say, hey, look, my name is Alston. I'm local here to Kenosha. I see that your w website hasn't been updated. Uh, did you know that 60% of your, 60% of web searches are conducted on mobile web, uh, on mobile phones and your website isn't mobile friendly? Would you like me to create a website for you that's mobile friendly? They'll say, you know, how much does it cost? You say, you know what? Pay me half up front, which would be $2,500. If you live in Chicago, you'll say maybe pay me $1,000 up front and then pay me the ha other half when you're 100% satisfied. What most small and medium-sized businesses don't know is you're going to go out and you're going to grab a WordPress theme, you're going to download it, and you're going to upload it into their web hosting provider. Now, if they don't have a web hosting provider, maybe they're just using standard HTML, you can actually make money with affiliate marketing by recommending them use, let's say, Bluehost. You send them a special link for them to use Bluehost, tell them to sign up with this link, you will go ahead and get, get started, and then send me the information so that I can set up your website. You can tell them, hey, this website's going to take me a week, that's why it's going to cost $1,000 or whatever amount that you agree upon, and then you can get it done in two or three hours and you can sit back and relax. You can start finding other jobs. You can maybe run paid ads if you want to make this into a real business. Doing WordPress websites is a real business opportunity because everybody needs a website, but not everybody has the time, energy, or effort to put into building a website. Maybe people get frustrated by technology. People get annoyed by the thought of building a website, but all of this is a simple template. And I've just added in the blog posts and I've added in the images here, but this is all a template. So what I would do, as I mentioned, is I would go to themeforest.com, themeforest.com. And this is where you can find a number of different WordPress themes. What you can do is you can either eat the cost of purchasing and downloading a WordPress theme, or you can roll the cost into them building it. You can say, you know, maintenance and whatever, the cost is going to be $1,060 or whatever cost that you guys, um, whatever charge that you agree upon. And then you can make even more money with this and you can say, hey, your website needs to stay up to date. I'll charge you additional $15 or $20 a month to make sure that your website stays up to date. They don't realize that it's simply just going in and clicking update on the plugins. And that's an additional $15 or $20 per month that you're making. And you can charge them right through PayPal. PayPal has a system where you can auto charge people reoccurring charges every single month. And this is an incredible opportunity. You get, let's say you spend, let's say you get six, six websites. You, you, you get six companies to work with and you charge each one of them $500. That's, what is that? That's $3,000 right there. But then on the back end, you charge them $20 per month. Uh, for six, what is that? Six, that's another $120 per month that you're basically just going in and you're checking a few boxes and making sure that their website's up to date. Then you can even charge them a little bit more. Hey, I'll charge you an additional, let's say $100 if you want additional products added on. And to do that, really, it's really simple. You just go and download a plugin called WooCommerce or something along those lines. And then Again, you just quickly get all of this done. You can build entire WordPress websites, five page websites in two or three hours. Now, obviously if you're just getting started, it'll take you three hours, but 
once you get good at it, once you remember what to do, muscle memory, <clears throat> you can build WordPress websites in two hours and kick back and relax. And basically, you've made $500 in two hours of work. You're getting paid $250 an hour. Now, people are going to say, hey, this is saturated. But if you work with your local businesses, if you build a connection with local businesses, mail them something, show up at their workplace, say, hey, I'm here in Kenosha just like you, and you show up to local events, people are going to more, be more willing to work with you than some giant chain that they've never actually had a direct connection with. So again, it's very easy to start a WordPress website. It's very easy to start an online business. In fact, that's how I got started making my first few dollars is with WordPress websites. I worked with a, a friend who worked, who knew somebody that needed a WordPress website. I charged her $300. I got it done in 15, 20 minutes. I, let me be honest. I got it done in probably two or three hours. And then I pocketed that money. You can turn this into an, a complete business. Another way to grow your WordPress business is to offer web hosting on the back end. Now, every website needs web hosting. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to find businesses that need a website. And, and what you could do is say, hey, look, I can, and, and I'll actually show you exactly what I do, step by step. So I'm going to go to my website, reboltwebservices.com. And again, this is how I started making my first few dollars online. So this is my, this is my website. This is my web hosting company. What we do is we either do a web design for them, we'll do a web refresh, or if they come to us, we'll offer steep discounts on the web design if they enroll in our web hosting service. Now, the reason why we do that is web hosting is reoccurring. People need to apply or people need to buy web hosting annually or they can buy three-year blocks. And so this is passive income. Most of the websites never go down. They're up like 99% of the time, 99.9. .9, and I'm a reseller. And so what that means is I've got my own little space on the internet where I host websites for people that I know. So let's say I have 15 or 20 web hosting or I have 15 or 20 websites. And let me just show you how much that costs. So web hosting, if it's $8.95 per month. And if we did the math here, $8.95 times 10, $8.95, we'll say $8.95, 95 times 12 is $107, right? And if we multiply that by 10, multiply that by 10, that's $1,000 that we get and we do we have to do very little work. So as you can see here, this is how you turn web hosting or this is how you turn a WordPress website, building WordPress websites into an entire business. You offer a very steep discount. If they come to you from Bluehost, say, hey, look, if you have a question, call me directly and I'll be happy to answer that question. And then you spin it out into an entire business. So I know that I started off with building WordPress websites, but then you can actually turn into a real business by offering web hosting. And basically what you need to do on the on the back end is you need to go buy reselling reseller rights to web hosting. I use Name Hero, but there are tons of different companies that are out there. So this is another good opportunity. Uh, building WordPress websites for anywhere between $500 and, and $2,500, even more if you wanted to, and then turning that into a web hosting business. So after that, we have my number one recommended way. I recommend affiliate marketing because it's the best, in my opinion, it's the best way to start generating passive income on work that you've created before. For example, I have close to 500 videos on this channel, all about affiliate marketing. And what people will do is at all times of day, 24 hours a day, people are clicking on my videos. If they like, if they engage, if, if I connect with them, if they connect with me, they're going to click on the affiliate links that I have in my description and they may buy a product or service. That's affiliate marketing. You're recommending a product or service to solve someone's problem, to solve a need or a perceived need, and then you get paid a commission. Everybody's doing affiliate marketing right now. Everybody was using Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates just slide, just slashed their affiliate commissions in half. <clears throat> and there's just a number of different ways that you can do affiliate marketing. You can have a blog. You can have a YouTube channel. You can do affiliate marketing on Pinterest, on Instagram, 
on LinkedIn, on any social media site out there, you can do affiliate marketing. So one example of affiliate marketing that I like to use is if you go up to Google and you type in best, we'll say best web hosting, hosting for, and it says WordPress, these all links here are going to be uh, underneath the ads are affiliate marketing or will, inc will include affiliate links. And so basically what happens is, is someone's offering a bit of information and then in return, you're gonna click on their affiliate link and buy the product or service. So for example, if I go to codeandwp.com, they will have maybe four or five different affiliate link or affiliate programs that they're linked with and then you can start, and then they'll start making money when you click on the link and buy the product. For example here, SiteGround. If I click this link where it says view details, if I click on the logo, it takes me to SiteGround's website. Uh, and and I and, and they can make money. So again, this is a great way to start making money passively because you're creating content, you're solving someone's problem, you're answering someone's question and they're going to click the link because you've helped them out. You can do this in any market, any niche, any product, service. You can do this with drones, you can do this with vacuum cleaners, you can do this with mics, best mic for YouTube videos, best uh, soft light for YouTube videos, best webcam for YouTube videos. People are doing this 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and the tall tale sign is if you do a search for best X for Y, that's usually an affiliate link or a blog that leads to an affiliate link. Another way to do this is people are searching how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days without exercise. Usually that's going to take them to an affiliate program where they're offering maybe a supplement, they're offering maybe a recipe that, that they're an affiliate for. That's another way to start making money online. And again, you can do this on any social media platform out there. The biggest ones and maybe the easiest ones to get into would be like Facebook, using Facebook groups. You can try Instagram. If you already have a following on Instagram, you can put a link in your bio. Instagram allows one link. You can tell people in your Instagram stories and even on your Instagram posts to click the link in the bio to learn a little bit more about X or whatever it is that you're promoting. So if you already have a following on Instagram, it's very easy to turn that into money and monetize that. So those are... It said top 10, but those are my nine. Here's some honorable mentions that I have. So honorable mention number one, I have reward sites. So there are tons of sites out there. And personally, to be perfectly honest with you, we always start a reward site, but we quickly fall off because we're not consistent and persistent with it. With reward sites, you can get cash back on buying certain products and services. They're basically digital coupons. So let's say you download like Retail Me Not or something like that. Any of these reward sites are out there. They're all basically the same. And what you can do is, let's say you'll get you'll get 10 points or 20% off for buying a pound of you know about a pound of boneless chicken. That's how these reward sites work. They work with the companies to get you to buy a certain product, and then you can get credit or points. Hi, Timothy Moore. How are you today? Uh, thanks for ch for checking in. But Reward sites can be can be very beneficial. Um, they really just kind of save you money. They don't necessarily put money in your pocket depending on the reward site, but this is uh, an incredible opportunity. Now the final way, and I'm gonna call this a dishonorable mention, is survey sites. I personally hate survey sites because they're not worth your time, money, and energy. Uh, I know this for myself because maybe two years ago, I tried doing survey sites for two weeks and I made less than 20 bucks. Now. When I tried this, I was sitting on the couch, I was going through, pressing the surveys, and getting a nickel here, 10 cents there, and eventually you just kind of quit. You're fed up and you're tired and you just kind of give up. Hey, thanks for, for, for checking in and you're welcome. Let me know if you have any questions, anything that you, uh, any type of business that you have a question about, let me know. <coughs> I'd be happy to answer them. Anyway, I personally don't like survey sites. Now, obviously, someone's going to come out and say, this survey site is the perfect survey site. They pay $20 per survey, and it works perfectly for me. Now, that can work for you. Let's say you make $20 per hour with a survey site, or you could make $50, $60, $70, $100 hour per hour building a WordPress website. My personal preference, if I'm going to, compi if I'm going to compare a survey site versus a WordPress website, I'm gonna choose building a WordPress website. That's a skill that's marketable, it's relatively easy, and you can take it anywhere. 
You could build a WordPress website. I've built WordPress websites for people down in Atlanta, out in California, Washington, D.C., and I've worked with people up in New York, all from the comfort of my own home here in Wisconsin. Survey sites aren't helping you build a business. Because I have WordPress experience, I can A, list that on a resume, I can list that on Thumbtack, I can, I can go out and market that skill. It's very diff difficult to market the I successfully completed 500 survey skill. Then um, again, that's personal experience, spending hours trying to make $20. And the other thing with the other thing I don't like with survey sites is they know that you're going to get fed up and quit. That's why they set the limit, the payout limit to $20 because they know $20 means that you're going to have to spend 180 hours filling out these survey sites. And eventually most people give up and quit. Um, I don't like to quit but I, it just wasn't worth my time, especially once I discovered that you could build WordPress websites. If Again, if you're looking to make money today, if you're looking to make money this week, check out some of the different ways that I, I listed, I mentioned, and sign up for a few. The best way, what I, what I would recommend, if, if I always like to provide some actionable information. What I would recommend is go to a website like Freelancer, go to, I think it's Elance, People Per Hour, Fiverr, and sign up for a bunch of different things. You won't need to know anything until you need to know how to do something. You won't need to know how to do anything until you actually get hired on to do a gig. Uh, so we have another question. I was starting a blog. How many pages should my beginning website have? So that's a good question. The right, the, the correct answer is it really depends. Uh, in the beginning, you should aim for 50 blog posts the guys over at Income School have they've they've actually laid it out pretty well how to start a successful blog step by step. I do have a link in the description to Income School Project Twenty Four if you want to learn a little bit more. They recommend having I believe at least thirty blog posts. I want to say you need to have at least fifty, probably more depending on the niche. Now, for example, health, wealth, relationships, and technology are ultra competitive. But if you are completing if you're starting a website on let's say underwater basket weaving, that's going to be far less competitive and you're probably going to start seeing success sooner. So the answer really is, Timothy, is it all depends on your niche and your experience within the niche. Uh, but I, I have a link in the description. It is an affiliate link to Income School Project 24. They have built, I want to say seven figures building niche websites. They have they have a pretty good YouTube channel. It's called, uh, I believe it's called Income School. Definitely check them out because I, I turn to them as, as they are the subject matter experts when it comes to blogs. I just try and pass on what I know with regards to blogging, but I really defer to them because I think they are the subject matter experts. But don't get fooled here. I'm going to write here so that we know, we remember, I hate survey sites, Okay absolutely disdain them again someone's going to come along and say you know i went to this one survey site and it was great they paid me 50 dollars what usually happens is they have very few of the 50 dollar surveys and they have a ton of the 10 cent surveys everyone flocks to the 50 dollar surveys makes it very difficult to get those and there's so few that it's very hard to even justify it so we have another question here 50 blogs how many words per article so the income school model is you start off with 30 blog posts, right? You do 10 of 1500 word post, 10, 2500 word post, and 10, 3500 blog post. But the answer will be it really depends on what you find in your keyword research. Again, let's talk about the two extremes. If you're getting into health, that's going to be ultra competitive. And so you're probably going to need, in order to compete, you're probably going to need to create a ton of 2,500 or 3,500 word po blog posts. But if you're creating content on underwater basket weaving, a topic that nobody is talking about, you could probably create 20 or 25, 1,500 word posts and get traffic. The other thing too is it depends on the other methods that you are trying, that the other methods that you're taking advantage of to start driving traffic to your website. If you're creating a blog post and then you're sending people to your blog post 
via Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and YouTube, you're going to start seeing traffic and you're going to start seeing money faster than if you just submit the blog post and hope that Google indexes it and ranks it higher. So there's a, a few different factors in play that you need to consider that there's really no like hard and fast rule. If there was a hard and fast rule, everybody would do it. The other thing with, with, with blogging and YouTube and, and creating content in general is the rules of the game change. The rules that were in place 10 years ago with blogging and Google are completely different than the rules now. And they're going to change probably every three to six months as AI gets better, as Google refines what they define as quality, it's going to change. So what I would do, yeah, what I would do is niche down as far as possible with the exception of doing review. For example, uh, let's say I was doing a, starting a blog on phones. I would niche down as far as possible without doing iPhone 10X review. The reason being is everybody's going to do that review. That's going to be insane, insanely competitive. What I would what I would do is try and do a review video. Maybe maybe my target market is stay at home dads. So I'm going to create content for the best mobile phones or best smartphones for stay at home dads. I don't know if that's even a niche, but that's how I would niche down. Instead of just creating content on smartphones, maybe do um, 10 smartphones for stay-at-home dads or, or 10, 10 waterproof smartphones for the stay-at-home dad. So I, I would try and, and, and do it that way instead of just doing, like my a better example is the weight loss one. Weight loss is going to be insanely competitive. How to lose weight is going to be insanely competitive. How to lose 10 pounds is going to be less competitive but competitive. How to lose 10 pounds in 10 days is going to be even less competitive. How to lose 10 pounds in 10 days without exercise is going to be very, very, very less competitive because you've niched down five levels. And that's essentially what you would want to do if you're looking to start, if you want to start making money online. Yeah, long tail. Niche down long tail, it's all, all the same, all, all the same. And the, the more competitive the environment, the more you're going to need to niche down. Any other questions from Timothy or anybody else? But again, these are all different jobs that you can do and start making money this week. And, and what was important to me when I was putting this list together, and, and I got a lot of this, a lot of these opportunities from a website called um, Money Pantry, if you've ever heard of it. I, what, what I was looking to do is looking for different ways to start making money this week. We know that there's a ton of things going on. Now we know, in fact, that there's these murderous wasps or murderous hornets that are coming to the United States, um, which is frightening if you think about it. But we, we need to start generating some income. And all of these are going to be active income except for affiliate marketing. I'm looking for ways to start generating passive income. And if you click the first link in the description, if you go to austingodbull.com forward slash start, it'll take you to a free training that you can start learning how to generate passive income with an online business. Um, that is my, my, my recommended way if you're looking to start building an online business. All of these are jobs where someone else is hiring you. You click that first link in the description, you'll learn how to build an actual business where you can hire people. You can be the other person where you need a virtual assistant, where you need data entry or someone to transcribe. I would love someone to transcribe my YouTube videos because I would take my YouTube videos, have them transcribed and put them on my blog, austingodbolt.com forward slash start because it's another way to start getting traffic. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to throw them out there. If not, you know, I'll hang on for a couple more minutes. Um, I uh, One of the things I like to end all of my videos with, especially my live videos, is you could have been anywhere in the world with me. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate it. Jay-Z said it. I just kind of butcher it. Um, but, you know, I really appreciate you guys stopping by, especially at 8.15 Central Standard Time. It could be later or earlier, obviously, where you're at. Uh, let's see, Bluehost or what for beginning hosting. 
Um, I I like Blue Hosting if you're, or Blue Host if you're just getting started. I I do have some reservations with Blue Host. My main concern with Blue Host is if you if you have a question and you need help, contact their help desk a few different times because you'll get a few different answers. Now I know from personal experience, one one for example, I was trying to migrate my hosting from Blue Host to somewhere else, and it seemed like they didn't know what they needed to do. I would set out step by step. Hey, you need to get you need to generate a tar, t a r z or whatever file so I can upload this into the new web hosting company, and they just had no idea. I wound up going round and round with them for like four days because they didn't know. But if you're just getting started, what I would do, I would start with Bluehost, but don't buy the cheapest plan. The reason being is the cheapest plan. Uh, when it comes to web hosting, there's there's shared hosting, there's VPS hosting, and this is going to get into my nerd. I'm 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 an I'm an undercover nerd. If you don't know this about me, there's there's shared hosting, there's VPS hosting, and there's dedicated hosting. If you're just getting started, you can get started with shared hosting, but don't get the first plan for Bluehost. Um, basically, shared hosting. What that means is there there are a number of different websites on one block of uh, of a server. And a server basically is a virtual hard drive. So with shared hosting, the pros are it's relatively cheap. So you can get started with like three or four ninety five a month. But you are sharing resources with tens, twenties, hundreds of other websites. And that can be a problem if someone's hogging all of the resources. That can be a problem if someone's website is compromised. Whoops. If someone's website is compromised. For example, let's say one of the web one of the, the websites is turned into kind of like a um it, it's filled with adware and spyware and it has a number of viruses that's going to consume a lot of resources and that's going to take away from your website um so, but you know i like i like name hero i use name hero um name hero use cloud hosting you know to be perfectly honest with you if you are looking for the absolute best web hosting if you're looking for the fastest for the price you would you should go with amazon web services light sale now the reason being a nobody talks about it b aws amazon web services they control somewhere between three and fifty percent of the internet most of the web companies most of the the web hosting companies use aws for their back end in some capacity you could set up aws and again, this is going to get into my technical nerd um, side, which is kind of the, which is the side that I like to talk about. Is you can you can get started with AWS relatively cheap. It's going to be ultra fast. The drawback is you don't get some of the features like a C panel. The the nice thing about a website like Bluehost is they really hold your hand and they cradle you like you're a, like you're a, a little little kid that doesn't know anything. AWS takes it off the training wheels, AWS light sale, they'll get you set up with a with a WordPress website very fast, but you'll still need to create your own email addresses and you'll need to do some of those other things in the back end. But if you want to hear something frightening, Amazon Web Services, which is a branch of Amazon.com, a, a branch of Amazon, they control anywhere between three and 50% of the website uh, of, of, of the internet. Nobody knows how much. If, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to lay it, lay awake at night, lay awake at night, look into Amazon Web Services and everything that they control and everything that they have a hand in. Amazon Web Services also owns Ring Video Doorbell. Amazon owns Ring Video do Doorbells. They also own um, all of the shopping and e-commerce. They have their hands in AI and machine learning. Now, again, this is getting off onto a tangent, but learn about Amazon Web Services. They also have the best uh, website, but Bluehost is a good place to start. AWS is also a good place to start if you don't want the training wheels. So I went off on a tangent. I apologize. It's something that you know. Apparently, I'm a pa I'm passionate about that most people aren't aware of. Um, so Timothy or anyone else, if you have any additional questions, feel free to throw them out there. I want to make sure that I didn't miss any on my little rant here about web hosting. All of them. 
are going to have their strengths and weaknesses. Again, Amazon, I think, or excuse me, Bluehost, you can get started for like four ninety five. Do you think they are getting rid of their affiliate program? So the thing with Amazon is, I don't know. I, if I were them, uh, if I were them, I wouldn't really care if if there if there was an affiliate program. It's an opportunity for others like Target. It's an opportunity for others like Best Buy. But the thing is, is most people are lazy, and so they just kind of relied on Amazon. For most things, Amazon is not the best affiliate program. For example, let's say stand mixers. You could go to like KitchenAid. You can go to Cuisinart. You can probably get better commissions for a stand mixer through KitchenAid or Quiz, Quiz, Cuisinart or some of those other places, but Amazon is just easier. And people are hoping that um, some that the customer is going to buy the stand mixer and a TV and, you know, a PlayStation. But if, if I was Amazon, I'd get rid of it. If I had as much market share, if I was shutting retail stores down left and right, I there's no really incentive. It's, you know, people are going to come to me eventually regardless. People are going to come to me just to see if I've got the best price if I'm Amazon because I'm known... Most people have Amazon Prime at this point. Uh, I think Amazon Prime's at like 129. Amazon also has fresh, um, has has the market, Whole Foods has grocery, Whole Foods. Um, Amazon is going is doing same day delivery. Amazon's going to do drone delivery. I, I don't need, I, I don't need affiliates <laughs> at this point. Affiliates were a good way to to market. It's a cheap way to market. I I would just. If I was Amazon and, and Jeff Bezos, I would just skip the middleman because I control I can control every other variable around it for cheap. Especially if uh, if if most of the internet is going through me at some point, um, I I can make sure that I'm I'm where where I should be. Uh, you are impressive. Thanks. I will continue to learn from you. Uh, I'm I'm not impressive. I just try and share whatever it is that I know. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully you pick something up from it. All right, so I, I think that's it for me today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. This video will be available in a few short moments. Um, thank you very much, you guys, for stopping by on your Tuesday night, maybe even Wednesday morning. You guys have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.